Hello, it's Lori, Assistant Director from the Environmental Nature Center. Um, wanted to chat with you guys today a little bit about another critter that I've noticed a lot of at the Nature Center, the fox squirrel. So here we go. As you can tell from the way this squirrel is hanging out and not immediately running away like most wild animals would, Fox squirrels are pretty tolerant of humans and even thrive in crowded urban and suburban environments. Are you wondering why this little guy is flicking his tail at me? He is actually threatening me. The fox squirrel is the largest species of tree squirrel native to North America. Their natural range is the eastern United States and they have been introduced to California. They are actually non-native. We have two species of locally native squirrels in Orange County, the California ground squirrel and the western gray squirrel. Around here, fox squirrels are most often found in urban neighborhoods with trees. They like the nature center because of our oak, walnut, and pine trees. While we're teaching students, we often see them searching for nuts and then hiding their nuts for winter. Yep, they are burying them. What do you think happens when a squirrel forgets where she buried the seed? That's right, sometimes a new tree grows. There are lots of ways that seeds spread and one of them is by animals. Fox squirrels don't just eat tree nuts, they also eat buds, insects, tubers, bulbs, roots, bird eggs, and fungi. They are strictly diurnal. Do you know what that means? Yep, they come out during the day, sort of like the opposite of nocturnal. They also spend more of their time on the ground than most other species of tree squirrels, but they're all super agile climbers. Why do you think they're so good at climbing? That's right, they have sharp claws. They also have long sort of fingers, if you look at them closely, strong forearms, and well-muscled abs. Yep, they have good core muscles. In addition to being good climbers, they are also impressive jumpers, easily spanning 15 feet in horizontal leaps and free falling 20 feet or more to a soft landing on a limb or trunk. It's a good thing our gymnasts don't have to compete with them in the Olympics. Relatively few natural predators can easily capture adult fox squirrels. What sorts of predators do you think eat squirrels when they can? If you said bobcats or foxes or red-tailed or red-shouldered hawks, great horned owls, or even a dog, you're right. But like I said, they don't make an easy meal like our rabbits do. Nestlings and young fox squirrels are more vulnerable to climbing predators like raccoons and possums. Fox squirrels have two types of shelters, leaf nests, also called drays, and tree dens. Sometimes when we have kids on field trips, they observe the nests in our trees and they assume that they're birds' nests, but alas, they are actually squirrels' nests, which is still cool. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed watching the squirrels and learning more about them. The Environmental Nature Center provides a tremendous service for our community, free public access to nature, environmental education, and a sanctuary for our community to escape from life's pressures. The ENC depends on income from programs to fund our operations and pay staff. The recent school shutdowns and program cancellations will result in considerable loss of income for the center. Please consider donating. Visit us at encenter.org.